Boers, Hamzat Chamayov versus Francis Ngannou. Hamzat Boers has done something in his short and, and marvelous mixed martial arts career that is impossible for other people to do. It's pure perfection. Four fights in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, four performance of the nights, 10 wins in his career, undefeated, destroyed every single man he's ever faced. He does it so perfectly, so incredibly amazing. The way that Hamza Chemayev can see and he can predict what his opponent is thinking, what they're gonna do within a matter of seconds, possibly a minute or two, already has them beat. He can force them to submit a multiple time national Swedish freestyle wrestling champion. Mind-boggling speed, it's his brain. Has so much wisdom about the sport, his intelligence level, it's really, you can't say anything about it. Boars is the one that knows what he's doing in there. If this perfection, this marvelous streak of credibleness can continue, Hamza Shabayev's gonna win a title. He's gonna blaze through the competition. He knows something that nobody else does. He has this aura about him where he doesn't seem cocky. He knows that he's incredibly great. That's why everybody is just drawn to this guy. In his fights, he is. He can fight at two different weight classes. He can fight at 185 pounds. He's big at 185 pounds. He's six foot two inches tall. He's slender, but he has a big frame. Francis the Predator Ninganu is the pinnacle of fighters right now. He is the top of the food chain, the animal that eats all the other ones. Hamza Chemayov, you gotta wonder if this streak doesn't stop, if he continues to go out there and beat people and doesn't even give them a chance. Goes out there, disrespects them, hits them when they don't even see it coming and drops them. You gotta start wondering, what can this guy do? I mean, he's perfect, right? He's went out there and, and guys his size, guys in his weight class did nothing. They didn't even put up a fight. They, they were just absolutely embarrassed. They should retire after they fought Osma Chemayev. They have no reason to really continue their careers. At that point, they realize that there is a man out there who, no matter what they do, is gonna just put them on the canvas. When you're a fighter, you have this big heart and, and you really, you know, you're cocky deep down in your soul. Fighting somebody like that, that, that's, that makes you feel like a bum. Francis Ngannou right now is the top of the food chain and you gotta wonder, could Hamza Chemayev go out there and just destroy the top of the food chain? Is Hamza that good? Is he the best in the world? A lot of people are gonna say no. They're gonna say he hasn't even reached the top five, he hasn't reached the title, he's possibly a clown. Give it a year or two. Fighters fight. When they come in, they ba barely get past their, their competition. They win a decision, split decision, and that's considered a win. If Hamza Chemayev were to win a split decision, we wouldn't be talking about him the same way. This is a guy who doesn't go to decision. He finishes you, he destroys you in the fight in front of everybody's eyes. Could, could he do that to the biggest, baddest man on the planet?